Hello and welcome to Amethyst Star Crafting. My name is Jane Ormark and I'm a UK independent stamping up demonstrator. And today I thought I would come on and show you I'm in the process of making a summer tag. Um, this is part of a, um, a swap challenge that I'm doing. And I thought that I would come on to just show you some of the ideas and the process that I go through in designing and making something um, and this is really all about using your stash so use what you've got and build up ideas and things so what I've done I've, I've just started it and I thought oh I'll come on and, and show you because it might give you some ideas so I've got a, um, a backing from one of our um, designer series paper packs we always have cardboard on the back because I want it to be quite a sturdy tag and the size of it is it's a large tag so it's going to be six inches by three inches I've just put a piece of designer series paper on over the top and I've just rounded the corners so that's as far as I've got and then I've got the reverse side of this paper this is from the um, hand penned petals suite. So I just rounded that corner and I'm going to put that piece in on there. But before I've done that, I want to sort of add some texture onto this. So again, using my stash, um, this is a stencil. Now you can use whatever stencil you want. And I just thought mm, that might work quite well. This is um, Basic Patterns Decorative Masks uh, from quite a while ago. But as, as, as I've always said, keep your products and bring out things that you like. So I thought that this, um, I've got Blushing Bride, which tones with this, a sponge dauber. And I'm just going to add some texture. And I think I want to have it sort of at an angle because I don't want all of it covered. And I'm just literally going to just give a little bit of texture in on this part here um, because I don't do a lot of um, what you call mixed media um, it's something that I'm not I just don't do all the time and it's quite fun to sometimes do things that challenge you a little bit more and get you to use things that you maybe hadn't have really thought about before. So I'm literally just taking a little bit of this with a sponge dauber in the Blushing Bride so it's sort of tonal and I'm just going to take it just off at this angle I think I'm going to do it all the way down um, because hopefully it'll just give that little bit of extra texture in on there I'm going to take it to there so oh yes that's quite pretty so you've got just a little bit of sort of pattern on there then I'm going to take the sponge dauber and I'm going to sponge around the edge because there's a little bit of the cardboard showing where I cut the cardboard slightly different to the, um, or it wasn't exact right the way through, but um, that will give it just a little bit of definition around the sides. And the theme for this was summertime. So you had to think of things that reminded you of summer so it was a summer tag and I quite like doing challenges and things sometimes because as I say they um, they stretch you a little bit and and make you sort of think outside the box and um, yeah I think it's a uh, it's quite fun okay so we've got that and that's given a bit of definition around there now this piece that's going on here I just want to do a little bit of the same color just down on here so as I say this isn't a 
one of my normal videos, but it is taking it from sort of start to finish. Um, and I still don't know what it's going to turn out like. I've got some bits and pieces that I've gathered together, which I think might work. And as it builds up, we'll see whether we think it does or not. Okay, so I've done that. And that piece I'm just going to put in on the edge there. So let me just glue that in. Um, because as I said, I'm, it's all about building up layers and textures and just all sorts of things. So I'm just going to take this on here. And thankfully the recipient that I'm sending it to or my swap partner um, isn't on um, YouTube so hopefully they won't see it and if they do it will have been posted um, because I will be posting it the early part of next week so we're just going to stick this piece in on here and that gives us that so we've got the start of sort of, you know, some backgrounds, a little bit of texture and stuff going on in there. Then I thought, now I've got an old, um, we used to do these, we don't anymore. We do all sorts of different shapes, but this is one of our old little doilies. And I thought that might work quite well to just come across there. So I only really need about half of it. So let's, um, I'm going to cut this in half. Let's just take it straight up the middle from there. And onto that one. So we can then just put that just up against there like that. That'll work. Okay, so doilies are quite delicate. Um, and as I say, we've got some really lovely iridescent snowflakes in the new mini catalogue, which I thought I would get but it's like everything use your stash if you've got little bits and pieces left over from other things then it's a great way of using up those little tiny pieces and you know you don't have to have um, buy anything to make tags it's all about using what you've got so that I'm just going to stick I think straight in the center like that because that will give again a little bit more texture okay so now i've got some bits and pieces and things that i want to add so i have taken from the jar of love no jar of flowers um the sunflowers and i thought i would put those down on the seam like that because i think that that will look quite nice i've then cut out um from oh what was this one from beautiful beautiful moments i think hold on let me just have a look and see um I got it in sorry I'm, I'm dithering because I wanted to let you know which set it was from yes beautiful moments um, and I love beautiful moments um, you can still get it it's got these beautiful line images and I thought summertime I thought well I could do the girl but then I thought you know two little girls walking and they're carrying buckets now they could be at the seaside or they could be just you know walking collecting wildflowers or something like that so I thought that I'd put them down at the bottom like that so yes that I think is going to work so um, I've also got a sunshine so I thought I would stick the sunshine maybe somewhere like that I've got these balloons that I've cut out from the um, new sheep dies and again, I've just used little scraps that I think will work. So we'll have one sort of there. And I think I'm going to put another one just um, maybe coming in from there. So it, it's sort of attached to the same piece. So let's do those balloon pieces first because we want those to be tucked underneath, don't we? So that one 
is going to be perfect there so I'm just going to leave the little image in take these balloons the um, stalk of the balloons is really really fine so I'm going to have to be quite careful on that when I stick it down because I don't want that to break because it's very fine so let's have that balloon coming in and it's going to be under the little girl's hand and we'll have it stuck down at that angle then we'll take the other one and the other one I want it to sort of come maybe like that yes so I've just moved the little girl a little bit so I'm just taking some of this um, and putting some glue on here and we'll pop her we'll pop that one in so that it just is connected in on there and then comes out at that sort of angle okay then we can take her now you can put things up with dimensionals but with tags i i like the fact that you just everything is sort of just glued one piece onto the other so and as I say, it's all about trying to build layers and textures and um, just make them fun, make them interesting. So I'm just going to take some glue right the way down. As I say, I coloured and fussy cut these ones out. Uh, but again, as I've said to you, if you're somebody that does quite a bit of colouring and fussy cutting, now I want to make sure that that comes in there then um, you know just make sure that um, you save all of those bits and pieces because it's quite good then to turn around and um, you know just have things where you want I'm gonna have the sunshine in the middle there because I like that and I'll just glue that one down and just put that there so we've got a little sort of scene going on but we've got some nice sort of texture and things built up and then I'm going to put the sunflowers down on this seam bit and again I just coloured them in with um, some alcohol markers um, we do great blends so you know you can use our blends or you can use any form of alcohol markers that you just might happen to have so we'll have that down on the seam because this is all things that are to do with summer you know lovely sunflowers um, and I quite like that I've I thought I would do it as an eclectic mix so it's not just one style it's just all sorts of things about summer and then we'll put the other one just down like that so that, that goes along the seam there so we've got the flowers Got quite a bit of texture and stuff going on in here now I need to put my hole so I know that I'm not going to cover the hole with anything so I've got my cropper dial which is perfect because it will go through anything and I'm just going to put a hole through in on here just about there So then I can see exactly where to make sure that I'm not going to cover that up because I want to add some words in. And I've taken from um, a good man, relax your way, and from the um, beautiful moments, collect beautiful moments because I thought, well, those are all sort of things to do with summer and I'm just going to cut those out and I might take them um, and separate them off I don't know yet I might keep them as is but so if we had for example relax your way maybe down through on there and then we've got the collect beautiful moments I stamped out a couple of times because I didn't know sometimes when you're cutting things out 
you need um, you need more sort of space than it allows you and quite often you'll waste one or two of them so I thought um, I would take two out and see I think I'm going to be all right because I want these words to be separated so I'm literally just taking the moments because that's one of the nice things when you're doing tags so if we have moments and we've got collect so I'll take those ones out first because they're the smallest ones like that just need to take a little bit off of there so that's our collect oops and then we've got the beautiful which is quite a nice one to go round and just cut round the actual shape and I think I'm going to be all right to do that so just sort of going down Take it out with, take that out of the way. Um, so yeah, so there's no complete sort of structure to this. This is just the process that I'm doing that I thought some of you might find useful and interesting and give you ideas for doing tags or, um, you know, taking a bit of mixed media. Now with mixed media, you can start with um, things like our texture paste to build up complete layers but I didn't want to do that on this one I wanted to keep it sort of fairly one layer so I'm just trying to concentrate and get this across on here you'll have to excuse if you can hear the rain it's absolutely hammering it down yet again we've had a week of lovely weather we then have had about 10 days worth of torrential rain with very little um, nice weather in between but that's um, that's the British summer for you it seems to be sunshine and showers and you never really know from one moment to the next of um, what it's going to be you always say if you pack to go on holiday in this country you need to take wellies max sunscreen sun hats and uh, um, swimwear and uh, and you can have all of it within the period of a week so it's uh, it makes for a nice uh, a nice place to live but i must admit i'm not that keen on the um, the wet so um collect beautiful moments I want this to be up at the top so we'll have shall we have beautiful at that sort of angle I might cut that down just a little bit I think those tails are potentially just a little bit too long so I'm just going to cut those out and we'll have um, and this is about quite often when you do your words you need to just um, just add things as you like them so um, I'm just going to put the beautiful part just in on there like that because I quite like that just going across at that angle so we've got beautiful on there then I'm going to have the collect might have it all facing the same way in this bit but I wanted it spread out rather than in the same one because that's quite a fun thing to do with tags so we'll have the collect just there and then we'll have the moments in underneath and then I thought I'd do a really rather fancy um, ribbon for the tag with maybe all sorts of bits and things on it. So we'll have that in there. Collect beautiful moments. And then I am going to split this up because it looks too heavy 
on its own so let's just give it a little bit of an edge like that and we'll have relax there I think and then we've got your way just as I say curving it just slightly not overly but just a little bit on this one because the words are slightly bigger so maybe relax your and then maybe I can put the way down at the bottom somewhere I quite like having little words dotted about and you can sponge around them if you want to I because it's quite a pale one I thought I wouldn't do that on there so um, and it's quite difficult sometimes to um, I don't really want to cover that image so maybe I can put the relax there you're there Oops. and way maybe across there that'll work okay so let's have that on there and again it, it's literally just about building things up you know put what you want where you want it it's just about once you start to put things in you can go oh yes I like that or no I don't like that so relax I'll have the your I think straighter because I don't want it to be all in the same way so I'm actually going to put the your in that way and then we'll have the way is the only one that's going to go over the top so I just need to make sure that I've got a reasonable amount of glue on there so I can put that in that way so that can come just in there so we've got relax your way on there okay so that I think is looking quite good just turn that just around in on the edge because I don't really want it sticking out too much um, so we've got all of those sort of bits and pieces going on and then I thought I would do some um, let me get my ribbons out and see oops I have a box of of ribbons and again I've got um, old and new and all sorts in there now I've just found a little piece I don't think I've got much of this left but that's quite a nice in fact that's all I've got left of this so that would work quite nicely wouldn't it um, so if we have um, I want to have the ribbon coming up and then I'm going to have other pieces hanging sort of off it as a um, as a tied bit so if I take this like that to about there it's a bit of an experiment this so if I take that that's going to be the piece that comes on there but then I want pieces coming through now I'm going to have to do it as you might you might have better ideas than me but I think think that this might work what I want to do is take this up like that am I going to have it hanging in I'm going to do it the other way actually so we'll have it coming through this way um, I've got to put something on the back for the recipient to then if they send the tag to be able to write it so I'm going to do some more sort of decoration in on here but if I take that, that's better. So I'm going to take this up like that. And then I want to put lots. So I'm not tightening it up. I want to put lots of little things that are going to hang down from there. But they don't want to be too long. So um, let's take them about... 
to there okay so if i cut that off then i can see what size which is just a little bit and i've still got some of this one left so um, and as i say these are all sort of scrappy pieces so we'll have um i'll just show you what measurement it is it's six inches there we go interesting so it's the same size as this in half so it comes to three inches and then all I'm going to do is just take different pieces of ribbon that I've got so we'll have this one and it doesn't have to be absolutely precisely accurate you can do it as you want so I'll take that one to there so that's the second one um what else have i got oh i've got a little bit of lace lace is always nice so we'll have a little piece of lace and again i'm just picking it up so that it's roughly the size that i want and we'll take it off down onto that one so that one um I've got, what else have I got? Um, I want things that are quite sort of fine and pretty. Oh, now I've got a little bit of this. This is very old, but I do like it. Um, and that's quite brightly pink. So this was, what was it called? This is ages old. Um, and I've only got a little bit of that left as well. But it was called Taffeta Ribbon. Um, but as I say, this is where literally you use whatever whatever you've got in your stash just get bits and pieces that you think are together and the same color and I could put beads and things on there if I wanted to so I'm just going to take it in half to see because that's where it's going to come is that going to be enough um, no I want it a bit fatter so what other ones have I got um oh I've got a bit of um now I love this, I've always loved this, so I'm going to have a little bit of, this is in the catalogue, which is lovely. It's the metallic um, mesh ribbon. So I want a piece that's going to be like six inches, so about like that. And I'm gonna cut that in half. So cut that off, and then I'm going to take it in half. So I'm gonna take this right the way down on the middle really easy to cut and then you can sort of scrunch it up a bit and then you've just got a little bit of silver coming through I might not use both pieces but I didn't want it to be too thick so if I do that that will work nicely um, and then what else would I use um, there was something else that I thought again I probably need to cut it oh we've got the yellow haven't we so again, I've got some of this one that I've had for a long time. So I'm just going to cut a piece of this roughly and just take that like that. And so again, you know, I'm using up little bits of stash that I've had for a long time, but they make beautiful little things like that. And then I'm just taking them all roughly about the right sort of size like that like that. And then what I want to do is to fold this in half like that. So I'm going to have to have something to tie it up with. And I might use this. I don't know how strong it's going to be, but I think we'll see because I think it's quite pretty. So right the way sort of across the centre, you just need to. And it's easy to tie in because it's, um, it's not a difficult one. So I'm just going to give this a little bit of a pull in the center up like that and then I need to bring this in like this so just tying it up that way bringing those bits down and then I'm just going to wrap this little top piece because it's um we need to have something to just stop it because if I hang it up like that, it is, it sort of comes out, but I do need to put something in on here. So let me take, I've got a little bit of, this is the silver, um, 
and it's in the annual catalogue I think um, do have a look across on on ribbons and things I'm not going to go through all of them because they are um, we've got lots so it's one of those things where you think oh maybe I don't want to have um, you know I can use stuff from my stash but if there's stuff that you go like oh I really like that there's always a link to my shop and if you go across onto there um, and just put in ribbons and accessories you'll be able to see there's always lots in there and I'm just going to tie this piece up and this is where it's quite difficult to do it sometimes I take a, um, a dimensional to give me the extra hand to hold it down but I'm just going to see if I can take it I want it to come down in just like this I think Let's take that to there. Give it a bit of a give it a bit of a pull. I'm just wanting to just tie it down on here. So I need to just take it over the top on there and just give that little top piece just a little bit of a tie through like that. Because that will help the pieces stay down. A little bit more and I'm going to try and tie this in a little bow it might be a little bit small but it might I might just get a little tiny one in on here so let's get that there we go that'll give a little bow like that so that'll give that little piece down like that and as I say they are different lengths and things but it doesn't really matter too much you can just sort of pull them out and I might have to trim it off a little bit depends how it goes um, so what I wanted to do was to take that and I'm going to tie it through onto this little bit here because the mesh is quite sort of fine and so doesn't show too much and I think that that would then work it means that the recipient can if they want to just take it off they don't have to have the ribbon on if they don't want to and they can actually undo it and use those little pieces of ribbon on their own projects and things if they want to if they don't want to use it for for the rest so um, again I might be able to let me just bring this up like this and see how how it's looking so that's coming up like that this piece is the piece that I've tied across on here so again I could do it in a bow or I could just bring it down on here just bring that down a little bit like that I think I think I need to tie it up that hasn't worked quite as well as I thought it would so I'm going to let me just take this in on okay I'm going to put it through that way because then it gives it a little bit more stability I think because if I put that through on there and maybe tie it um, just want it to sort of come down it does look quite pretty and I, I quite like just that little that little bit on there although it's not hanging it's not hanging quite straight enough so I need to I need to bind this a little bit I think those two pieces are the pieces that I've got that are going to come in on the top which is fine so I can do that on there this is the bit that's not um, that's coming off too much you can see on there it's not I need to bind that bit because the ribbons not hanging flat down which is where I wanted it now I know you can put all sorts of things on there to bind it but what I wanted to do was to just put and what I need to probably do is to tie it round a few times so let's do 
I'm going to just bind it round and then I'm going to tie it. So let's bind that one round that way. It doesn't really matter which way you do it, but I've just taken it a few times round and then with a bit of luck, I should be able to, providing it stays tight, which I should do. This is where you fast forward because uh, I'm faffing about a bit. But as I say, I, I, I know that some of you just like tuning in and watching and, and seeing what I'm doing so this is one of those and you can see that I've always my hands aren't always the best so I don't tend to do ribbony things on here but I wanted to have something so it's about persevering so let's just give that a and it's all unraveling again isn't it which is what I didn't want to happen so let's put this down on here and see if I can tighten it up as I go. So pull this end, pull the other end and give it a good old, that's better. Okay, so now it's, uh, now it's tied in because that's what I wanted. I wanted it all to be hanging down at the bottom but with some bits and pieces that were quite pretty. So I'm just going to, I need to try and get a knot in on here and for it not to unravel too much. So let's see if we can get this little knot in, shall we? And I bet some of you are really, really good at doing this sort of thing. But again, I'm ribbons and tying and bows and things are not my favourite thing because I never have enough fingers and I know I could have put a little glue dot under there but I didn't want it to be the only trouble sometimes with glue dots is it gets quite um, sticky um, on there even if you fold it into little tiny bits I quite often find that it's quite sticky okay so I can leave that in like that that's far better because we've got this coming although have I just got that up over the top I might have got that bit in underneath on there going to take that down because that should work nicely and then we've got all of this just hanging down at the bottom which is where we wanted it so I need to just take this and just give it another little knot I think in here to just make sure it's ultra secure like that and then I'm going to snip those pieces just a little bit that's all right because that hangs down this one I don't think is going to hang it might do let's see if it's gonna if it hangs down enough yes so I can actually have that as part of the the, the bow part right so this is the bit that's going to go in on the top so we might be able to do it in on here this isn't the it's quite um stiff ribbon and I'm not that sure whether it's, um, if I put this through here, because what I want to do is to take this up through that little loop. Because I think that that will. Come in on here. This is where I don't don't look to see how long this video is taking because I'm I really don't want it to be. That's the way it should be on there. So I want that to come up on there. And then this one I'm going to have to just hook it in under. We'll tie it up afterwards, but I'm going to just put it in under on here. And this is why the mesh is quite good because it's very sort of see-through and I don't want it to be too over the top. So if I take that in like that, I should be able to tighten that up now. And then we just want this to come. I want it to come just right over the top, just in the center like that. So it just gives a little bit of a sparkly bit in on there and a little bit of a that's perfect 
So again, I can just take those pieces to hang down. Right, we've got there in the end. So we've got this lovely tag at the top, but we've also got a pretty little, um, pretty little doodari bit to come in on the front. And as I say, you've got your collect beautiful moments, relax your way, all sort of summery, but quite light and feminine. And that's my tag sort of done. I am going to carry around and, and do a little bit more around the edges and do some things under um, on the back. But I'm not going to do that on video now because I think you've got the idea of, of how to sort of jazz up a few little things and use up your scraps in your stash of everything that you've got and you save and you hoard. Um, if you're doing swaps and things, it's nice to use something like that. So thank you so much for watching me. As always, please stay safe and well and please be kind. Look forward to seeing you again. Bye bye.